you know, this is the first day I've been out, been able to get out and walk around after um, Tropical Storm Harvey or Hurricane Harvey, whatever. And what I'm showing you all is this same area that I flew over with my drone um, that day when it was at its peak. So you can see now those manhole covers going down there. This manhole cover here was the one that you could, <laughs> you could just see the top of when the water was up. And standing here beside it, it's basically at my waist. So it's about three feet above the ground. And I know that's nothing compared to what other people are experiencing. I'm not trying to steal the glory from anybody or the fame or whatever you want to call it. Um, just sharing my story. So y'all can see now why it swells up through here the way it does though. I was mentioned in the video, uh, <clears throat> mentioned in the comments of the first video that this was, this is at the confluence of two bayous. And these two bayous, neither one of them has a whole lot of upstream drainage, which is what spared us because pretty much the, the water comes up fast um, when the rain's falling hard and just as soon as the rain cuts off it drains off pretty quick um, areas south of here where the drainage is still going are still suffering um, all of town center kingwood everybody down along the lake and san jacinto river of course they're still uh, way underwater um, because all this water is going to them so just kind of wanted to explain this because you know i didn't say any, couldn't really say much in the drone video well couldn't really say anything except the description but that bayou coming in over there i can't remember what name it is but um that one and this one here they both come together right here at this corner and then they both drain on down south which this all goes on down through the trees and comes up behind goes along behind my house and all the other houses through here so like i said where i'm walking now um was waist deep never been a waist deep and it was only that high for when i shot that drone footage that was the highest it got so we got you know really lucky really blessed um you know my heart goes out to the people that are still suffering south of here um, but like I said just wanted to follow up and, and kind of explain to you guys in better detail um, hopefully maybe somebody sees this video and you know it kind of enlightens their eyes to the the impacts of, of flooding and you know flood control this you know this is the, the best flood control man can design really um, and it just wasn't enough so you know kind of a lesson in, in shopping real estate and shopping properties you really got to assume if you can what you can imagine to be the worst case scenario and think about what you can do to protect yourself from that um yeah out of my farm if you guys watch my farm videos where we're building a new house there that house was two feet above everything two to three feet above everything which was great i wasn't worried about it one bit um, but the water sure did come right up to the edge of the fill and had I not built it up on a hill that house would have had water in it so little things like that if you have the ability really think about it it's so sad to see the devastation and it's so sad that so much of Houston is impacted and it's just one of those things that not really anywhere else to build so you know do the best you can but try to spare yourself from any natural disaster if you can as well when you're shopping for properties or building a property so that's it little little rant there but hopefully it helps somebody or somebody learn something <laughs>